Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? I got a question for you. Now, every time I make one of these videos, I'm really soliciting, you know, opinions and feedback, and I hope to generate discussion. But in this case, I'm really very intentionally soliciting your experience, your perspectives, because there's something I've been thinking about, pondering, and it's still bothering me. I'm still not quite sure what to make of it entirely. So I'll give you my experience, and then, you know, hopefully you respond, because I really like to generate an actual dialogue with this one. I don't like scary movies. I never have. I don't, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the horror flicks either, or the horror genre, you know, some of it, but I don't necessarily go seeking it out. I'm not a horror junkie or horror buff. I don't like shock for shock's sake, so to speak, every once in a while. And I don't necessarily go out and, and seek out um, dramatic fiction or an emotional experience on purpose. It's not something I'm, I'm drawn to. However, there is a type of fiction that I find very compelling, but it's very disturbing. And I've noticed in the games that I've tended to, to gravitate towards lately that I've I found really interesting. Not all of them, but some of them have a very dark and very disturbing tone. Something like Lamentations of the Flame Princess gets a bad rap. It's not all like that. But there are some disturbing elements thrown in there at times. But just e even a couple of the games I've picked up lately, you know, Broken Rooms and Circle of Hands, there's a dark and disturbing element in those games. And it's different. They're, they're not identical by any means. But there's something there. As, as you read it, as you begin to imagine what play is going to be like, you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. There's something... You know, even, even reading the Broken Rooms book, you get this, this feeling that there's something wrong and you can't quite put your finger on it. And I find this incredibly compelling, despite the fact that it's very disturbing to the point where it makes me uncomfortable. I've, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but, uh, you know, fiction like, uh, I'm picking it out of the air, like things like Lovecraft or the, the TV show Millennium. Um, I could probably give you a bunch of other examples and I'm just drawing a blank. But there's something about a particular type of fiction or a particular type of disturbing literature, disturbing fiction, where you start to feel very small and insignificant and as if the, the floor is dropped out underneath you. There's no handrail. Everything that you thought was true, you're beginning to question. There's something going on and you're not quite sure what it is, but it's terrifying. Something's disturbing. And I've gotten to the point where I've, you know, read this sort of stuff, watched it, whatever, usually read it, and I've had to step away because I've begun to feel just uncomfortable, not quite right. However, I've noticed that I collect myself and I'm drawn right back to it like a moth before a flame. And I want more of that experience, uh, even though it's profoundly disturbing. And it's hard to put my finger on exactly why it's disturbing. You know, it's multifaceted. It's many, you know, it's, it's layered. It's really, really tough to get to the bottom of it. So I'm wondering if you've ever had that kind of experience. Have you been drawn to fiction or to games which are just disturbing? And not, like I said, not shock for shock's sake, but that deal with subjects that begin to make you uncomfortable. Um, or you're not even quite sure what the subject is, but you realize that it's just making you feel... Uh, I'm looking for a cinema for uncomfortable, but you know what I mean. It's beginning to make you feel profoundly uh, uneasy. But yet, you go back to it again and again. So, I'd like to generate some kind of discussion and, and hopefully uh, talk about this a little bit more in the coming weeks. Have a good one. And try not to be too disturbed.